Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Steel Mace Nation podcast. My name is Fred Moore. Today, this episode is going to be about training legs, Steel Mace style. And uh, before we get to it, I just want to remind you about SteelMaceNation.com and the 21 day Steel Mace Challenge. It costs $19.99, it's yours to keep forever. It's a workout program that comes in an ebook. The ebook also has a section on diet and it has a section on mindset, getting your mind straight, getting your mind in the game so that you could, you know, grind, so you could work out, so you could get over your sticking points and stuff like that. The diet section is, is simple. It's really simple. Um, it, it's all about keeping it in an easy frame so that you could uh, control your diet the way you need to and it doesn't get complicated you don't have to count things or nothing um, it's something that's always worked for me and I think it'll work for you uh, and also of course the program the workout program a three-week program that covers um, you know a full body style workouts functional fitness you can use the steel mace you can use uh, steel clubs you can use dumbbells you can use kettlebells bands or you can use body weight it's your choice what's so cool about that is that you could run through the program multiple times using different equipment and you'll get so good at it after a while that you'll be able to add in or subtract your own stuff um basically you know you can you could use it as your platform and build off of it and uh, then, of course, besides that, there's also a $99 workshop that you could grab. The $99 workshop is all steel mace, and it teaches you everything that you need to know about the steel mace. That's a pretty cheap price, considering it's so comprehensive. Um, you could check out tons of workout videos that I have on YouTube, or you could, you could just see them on steelmacenation.com, too. There's a lot of free content there. Um, so, you know, feel free to check that all out. If you're not into buying a program or anything like that, go check out the clothing section. There's a, uh, there's, there's t-shirts and there's hats. So feel free to peruse that and, um, you know, come back often and check it out because, uh, I, w I plan on adding more, sh more shirts after a while and make sure you sign up for the free newsletter. Also make sure you check out my good buddy Don over at Adex Mace and Clubs down in Florida. He's making American made adjustable mace and steel clubs. AdexClub.com. Tell Don Fred sent you and he will send you some love. So I talked in the beginning about, you know, doing leg training. So let's get into that. Um, Obviously, if you're somebody who has been using the steel mace for a while now, you may have tried different leg workouts using different weight maces. You know, you've tried the 10 pound, you've tried the 15 pound, you've tried the 20 pound. If you haven't tried using a 20 pound mace and do a bunch of lunges and side lunges and squats and things like that, you're, you're really missing out. I mean, holding that extra weight up to, up here you know and moving it around it pumps up your arms um and of course while you're doing your leg workout it's it's just that a little bit of extra weight you're carrying it so you have to work your legs that much harder but what if you know you've been doing this stuff for a while and you're really looking to blast off to the next level you know you want to try to maybe build up some size in your legs um you want to build up some power some stamina some speed you know you need to get more endurance or just general strength you know you just want to build yourself up obviously even if you're using a 20 pound steel mace and you're doing a leg workout you're doing lunges and things like that i mean that's not a lot of weight after a while right it might be in the beginning because you're getting used to the movement patterns especially if you've never done this stuff before uh, if you've been hustling for a while and grinding in the gym and you've done leg workouts before 
it would be more like a light day for you, even at 20, even at 25 pounds, right? And then after a while, it's just the mace is just going to get too heavy to hold in that way so that you could do your leg workout. So you're, you're really like, you're, if you really want to pump up your legs, you, you got to like add in something else. You got to move on to something else, grab something else and start lifting. So I'm going to just run you through a good workout you can do. Um, I do this one a lot. I have this one written down. Um, I don't even know if I've even shot any videos of this because that's my workout day. And I really, I mean, I do grab videos now and then while I'm in my, the middle of my workout, but I normally don't because I just don't have the time and I'm listening to my music and my, and my earbuds and it's coming from my phone. And then I got to shut all that off. I got to set the phone up and I don't know. It just, sometimes it takes me out of the loop and I'm not, I'm not feeling my workout anymore because I, I'm not internally focused. I'm thinking about, oh, let me shoot a video that I could put up on YouTube. So, yeah, I never shot this. I never shot these videos, but it's all stuff I can simply explain, and, and you guys probably know a lot of this stuff already. But um, a typical leg day workout, this is something I'll do at the firehouse, and there's a reason why I do it at the firehouse. I'm trying to hit my legs pretty hard, but I don't want to overtax them because I don't know what the rest of my shift is going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to go to a fire. I don't know if I'm going to be up all night without any sleep. And it's pretty, it's pretty rough when you blast the shit out of your legs and then you don't sleep more than a couple hours. And then you got the whole next day, you got to function. And, um, it's not really good for your recovery, right? Your legs aren't going to respond to the workout as much because you didn't get any proper sleep. So, I kind of came up with this idea to do a leg workout at the firehouse. Um, it, it's, it, you hit them hard, but not super hard. And um, it's not terrible on the volume. I try to always do more volume with legs anyway. And, and if, you know, if you've been using a steel mace and you've been doing lunges, squats, side lunges, that kind of stuff. Um, you're, you're doing lots of reps, a lot of reps, right? Over and over again. And that's how you blow your legs up. It's all through sheer volume. Well, um, volume is important. Weight is important, but I just try to moderate it when I'm at the firehouse. So here is what I usually do. Um, I start off obviously with a little bit of a light warm up. It could be jumping jacks skipping rope, um, even just walking on the treadmill, use, using some type of cardio machine or whatever. Um, go, walking up and down stairs a few flights is a great way to warm up. And, um, and that's just, you know, just to get you warm and ready for your workout. Then I may use, depending on how I'm moving, I may use a, a set of bands. I'll put the bands around my legs and I'll do clamshells and I'll do hip bridges or hip thrusts, whatever you want to call them, just to warm up my glutes and my hips. And that helps me squat better. That helps me lunge better because it turns on or it switches on those muscles. Um, and, it, and it helps them become part of the process rather than everything becoming quad dominant. So after I use that, then I'll grab a 10 pound mace and I'll, I will just do swings. I'll just swing mace. I'll start with two arms, then I'll go to one arm swings, and then I like to either move up to a 15, I actually have a 12 pound mace, um, and just continue one arm swings. And somewhere in there, I'll just do a couple body weight lunges, squats, and side lunges. Then I'll grab my 10 pound mace and then I'll do a series of lunging, uh, you know, front lunges and side lunges. So the side lunges I like to do, I stick to one leg at a time. I'll, I'll side lunge to the left and then I'll push off. Dinner's that. up, dinner's up. Dinner's up. I got to go soon. So let me make this quick. I'll, um, I'll push off that leg and I'll, I'll draw it up. So I'm standing on one leg. And then I'll go back down on that left leg again. I'll side lunge, push off that leg, stand straight up. 
I'm standing on my right leg. My left leg is up in the air. This is challenging my my stabilizers in my right leg and my ankle, right? Um, I'll do like 10 reps that leg and then I'll move over to the right leg and I'll repeat. I'll do front lunges and I'll just do switch lunges. I'll do some uh, some body, I'll do some steel mace squats with the 10 pound mace. Then after that, I'm pretty warmed up. So what I'd like to do is grab the heaviest kettlebell we have, which is 70 pounds, and I'll put a band through it so the band gets fished through the handle and then the loops of the band go around my feet and I take a really wide sumo stance and I stand over the kettlebell and then I rip it off the floor with the band so that as I'm standing up and getting taller the band is stretching and it's making it harder and I'll do you know I'll start off with like 15 to 20 reps and I'll do a, a deadlift after that we have a weight vest. The weight vest is a 50 pound weight vest. I put the 50 pound weight vest on and I go back and I do more of those deadlifts with the bands. After I start, after I hit about three, four, five sets of those, um, everything is over 10 or 12 reps. After that, I actually take the band out. Then I get a narrow stance and I do more deadlifts and I might do another two sets that point um you know my glutes my hamstrings everything is is fired up i'll ditch the i'll ditch the weight vest and then i'll go do a leg press with the leg press i go about 70 percent of what i would normally do if i was at the gym so it's pretty light um you know leg presses you can load up a lot of weight on a leg press it looks like you're doing a lot for some reason it's just it's just the um the physics of it, it's not its not all that weight. So I put six 45-pound plates on, um, and believe me, I can't, I can't squat that on a barbell. I cannot. But I could definitely do that with legs. Um, and what I'd like to do is a narrow stance so I could, so I could try to get the, the quads. And, of course, uh, with the leg press, if you're narrow stance, you can't come down as far because, um, you're, you know, it affects your range of motion. But I like that in the beginning because that um, that makes me feel safer. And lets lets me get tighter. Lets me get into the into the um, exercise more. And then after about three or four sets of that, then I'll open my stance up. And I'll go wide and high on the platform, and then I'll lower that weight, and I come back a little bit lower than I normally do, uh, just to get more range of motion. And I just rip it. I just pump it out. And I'll do like another two sets. After that, I'll do kettlebell swings with the 70-pound kettlebell. And I'll just do four or five sets of 20. Um, and I do that mostly more for the for the cardio aspect or, or the hit, if you want to call it that aspect of it. But it really, you know, kettlebell swings are one of the best exercises out there. They really hit your glutes and everything. It hits your whole posterior chain. It gets your upper body involved, works up a sweat. After that, I'll go back to a 20 pound mace and I'll just do some more lunges with it. And I just kind of play around with that. When I don't have anything really set, it's just more like play style, but um, I'm kind of doing it and I'm like really squeezing my biceps and I'm, switch, I'm switching the mace from my left to my right and my and that 20 pounds, you know, it starts to really hit your biceps and get a little vein popping out. It makes you feel good, gets your arms involved. After that, I'll grab the 10 pound mace <clears throat> and I'll do um, some abdominal exercises with it. So, you know, you could do a sit down kayak style paddle, paddling. And I do believe if you go to steelmacenation.com, there is a video of me doing a kayak. It's basically you, you're doing, um, you're sitting on your butt, you raise your feet up, your knees are slightly bent, you're kind of leaning back on a 45 degree angle, and you grab the mace like it's a paddle, and you paddle with it, you know, and you do like five reps on the left and five reps, re five reps on the right. After that, um, I might do uh, some other ab stuff, just, you know, crunches or whatever uh, with some other equipment. Then... I finish off my legs on leg extension and leg curls. So I'll do like 
light, 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 but I'll do very slow reps and I'll go full range of motion and I squeeze, when I do a leg extension, I bring it all the way up and I squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold and just squeeze and squeeze and it's slow motion. It takes forever to do like 15 or 20 reps. It takes a long time. It feels like you're there forever. After leg extensions, I'll do the leg curls, same way. When I curl it, um, I hold that position for as long as I can. Um, even with lightweight, after doing all that other stuff, it's really hard to hold it for too long. Um, I control it on the negative on the way down, and um, that really just pumps up my legs. And then I'll finish it off with some calf exercises, you know, standing on my toes and walking or uh, going back to the leg press and putting my feet on the bottom bracket, the bar that goes across, and I'll just pump and pump and pump. And um, there was a call coming in. I had to get rid of it. Oh, came in again. Let's get rid of it. Uh, so, yeah, I, um, that's it. That's pretty much it. That kind of workout, especially adding that, that um, vest in, the weight vest, really blows me up, makes me feel good. I feel like my legs got a really good workout, but I'm not, like, shot. I'm not beat dead. And... You know, it doesn't have to be a balls-to-the-wall workout every time anyway. But um, I wanted to really hit this one just in case uh, some of you steel mace wor workout people out there, you're not really um, happy with the with your leg development. It's, uh, it's a real thing because, you know, how your legs are so strong, um, I don't think there's a steel mace heavy enough to really challenge your legs 100%. Uh, unless you're just doing tons of volume and sometimes we just don't have that kind of time you know we need to destroy everything in 20 minutes and then go about our business so that's it guys i hope that this information is useful to you feel free to comment below and ask any questions and if anybody actually wants to see a demonstration or anything like that you know i could i could definitely uh, shoot those videos up actually now that i think about it i probably should and um, I'll, I'll do that pretty soon. So in the meantime, thanks for checking out the podcast. Thanks for liking and sharing and being awesome. And look, everybody, summer's coming. Uh, let's get in the best shape of our lives. You know, um, I'm 48 years old and I'm working on my abs right now. And I can't wait. You know, it's a, it's a real boost for me. Um, and I know it'll be a boost for you we could do this together. So let's do it. All right. Take care. Bye.